beautiful old park with beautiful old trees. Let's see how we go. I'm just working along this uh, tree line here, just doing a one swing width walk and I just got something which I thought, oh look, I won't film it. It's just the backing off of my button. Oh yeah, there's some writing on it too. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I put that away and I was putting the, uh, the sod back in and um, something was hard underneath my hand. And look what that is. It's a beautiful, beautiful button. And that looks fantastic. So I cannot wait to get home and clean that up. And just near the button, about two feet away, I got another nice tone, another nice signal. And yay, it's a half penny. It's been collected by the mower and it's a beautiful 1949. Well guys, all I can say is dig everything. If you're not sure, dig. Now, I got a real shocker of a signal. Scratchy, horrible, 32, 34, God I don't know what, 28, what, keep going. And I wasn't gonna dig it, but I thought, no, you gotta have a look. And look what I found. And this is why it was probably scratchy. Now just have a look, I don't know how long this fella is or how good a condition, if it's in a condition, but have a look at this. Yay! It's a chain or a necklace or something and uh, it's in complete condition if you like. I don't think it's uh, any valuable metal at all, but uh, what a great find. And a positive 36 tone produces this. And it's a beautiful penny. And it's a 1951. 1951 kangaroo penny. Yay! One of the great things about detecting is when you find a piece of junk, don't get too disheartened because it won't be too long before you find something which is a lot more interesting. Now I just found a piece of junk about a metre away and now I found something a little bit more interesting. Right here. And it looks like a half penny. And it is a half penny. And it's a 1943 kangaroo half penny. Yay! Beautiful. Keep going. And sometimes you just never know, so you gotta dig. Oh yeah, been down there a while. I'll wait till I get that one home before I uh, try and ID it. But she's been down there a while. I really love what you find in playgrounds and parks, money and guns and bullets. <laughs> That is one serious piece of bullet. All right. <laughs> Whoa. And it must be the condition of the uh, soil that's uh, producing pretty scratchy tones. 
So there's probably a lot more down here than I'm finding or willing to dig. But here's another half penny. And it's been down there a while as well. It's a bit corroded. And let me just have a look at this for a second. Hey, would you believe it's a Commonwealth of Australia half penny, 1938. Yay. Just got a one cent piece from there, and from here, another beautiful half penny. And this one is a 1943. Yay! Keep going. On the way back to the car now, guys. I haven't been filming the ones and twos, but I thought I'd show you this one. They're multiplying in this hole. A one, a one, and a two. We've got a four cent coin spill, yay. And always check your hole, and that four cent coin spill has turned into a six cent coin spill. There were two twos and two ones. Well, here's uh, something for you. I uh, was digging this target. Well, I thought it was that target, or maybe it was that target. But I found that target, thought I'd done everything. Got talking to uh, a local, and she gave me some pretty good information. Put the uh, sod back, and while I'm talking to her, I got a signal. And look what I've got. It's the beautiful top of a walking cane. Isn't that magic? What a beautiful, beautiful thing. Alright guys, off home now. Cheers all.